Hey, outsider, do me a favor. If my good for nothing brother asks you for Jet, tell him to buzz off. Oh, is your brother the drug addict? And you're the one that the the guy's sleeping with, aren't you? I got a better idea. Do it yourself. <laughs> Who's your brother? His name's Bobby, and he's my poor excuse for a twin, so you can get a good idea of what he looks like. Look, he's a junkie, but he's getting careless. If he gets caught, we're both in trouble. And as much as I'd like to leave this canned paradise, that's not how I want to go. You want to leave the vault? You should talk to him. Sounds like your problem. Hmm. This could get interesting. You want to leave the vault? More than you know. There's got to be more to life than this vault. But if I leave, it's on my own terms. Not because Bobby screwed it up. Now I admit, I've got my own share of the blame here. Bobby gets his chems from me, and I keep him on a short leash. But not anymore. I'm cutting off his useless ass. Hmm. It's probably not gonna go well. Why would you feed his habit? He's my brother, and he's overworked. I give him a little jet, and he perks up. He seems happy. I feel better. Done. Now that it's getting out of control, it's another story. He wants to put me at risk. He gets cut off. You're a little troublemaker. You know that, right? If he's addicted, it won't help. He'll get his chems somewhere else. Why do you think I'm talking to you? The only other place he could get chems is from outsiders. Believe me, if someone else was dealing in this can, I'd know. All right. This is I mean, I wouldn't side. give him my drugs anyway. What? What are you talking about, Dance? Okay. Hi, Tina. I never should have gotten him started on Jet. No, you shouldn't have. That was spectacularly stupid. And now, you deal with the consequences. So... Word is overseer, and I guess that's a no. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Alright, where's... Oh man, she's not here. I was gonna sell her my fertilizer. Thank God Ashes is back. Aaron is crazy about that cat. We gotta find her to sell her my fertilizer, and we gotta find the classroom. I actually... Did he show me that on the tour? Because I'm I don't not know about sure you. that he did. I can't stand to see any of those young sick. Why don't it's not in there. I heard there's a mole right at the station near the reactor room. Might be I'd back this way. Ah, here we go. Except they're not even here right now. God damn it. Alright, let's go ahead and, uh, can I sit down? I want to sit down and wait. One fifty-seven. They should be here! It's fucking one fifty-seven in the afternoon. It's stupid. Alright, let's wait 16 hours, I guess. Alright, so we waited till the next morning and there's still nobody here. So, I don't know what to make of that. Katie Penn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. Yeah, I would freaking love to if she was actually there, but she's not. Something, Jacob. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there he saw me get them you mean your chems get to the point bobby what did you find in that place it's like a whole extra vault in there but half ruined and caved in there was this terminal there so i started poking around in it there were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses but they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments a secret fault good lord i've never heard of such a thing bobby you're a genius a junkie genius <laughs> might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there, how would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Uh, sure. It sounds interesting, so why not? 
I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsythe. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. Hole in the wall. Okay. Let's do this. Maybe this is uh, where the elevator will come into play. At least this dude moves a little faster than Austin did. Oh, reactor. I don't know if I was in here before. <laughs> Just give it a kick and it opens up. That's great. Um, okay. Good job, Bobby DeLuca. Hey, Bobby. What, I'm not good enough to talk to? Fuck this guy. This stuff counts as stealing too? It's bullshit. This stuff doesn't belong to anybody. Old Overseer's Terminal. Master lock. Okay, hold on. We gotta check this out. Separation. One. That's almost completely unhelpful in a word this long. Uh, choke point? Does that have one? Yeah, the eye. That's it. Ha! Confidential, confidential, confidential. Overseer eyes only. By using this terminal, you are acknowledging that you are an authorized user or a technician. Unauthorized users must cease reading and log out of this terminal immediately. Violators will be subject to civil and criminal penalties. Nope. Vault 81. From Overseer Olive, Olive, Olivet? We'd like to thank you for accepting your new, role, your new role as Overseer of Vault 81. This program, as you know, represents a critical research opportunity. The work we do together will lead to a better future for humanity, not only in these times of uncertainty, but far into the future, whatever it holds. Your background in academic and applied medical research will make you a capable leader to Vault 81 science staff, and your administrative background gives you the unique ability to lead and manage the general population as well. Thank you again for reconsidering this offer of employment, and good luck. Coup. Prime Directive. The mission of Vault 81 is to research infectious diseases and antibodies with particular attention paid to potential mutations in a climate of heavy radiation. Clinical trials are a vital part of Vault 81's mission. Trials will be performed in three stages. Stage 1 trials are to be conducted in petri dish cultures. Stage 2 trials are to be performed on the colony of uh, heterocephalus glabber specimens uh, furnished by vault -Tec. Stage 3 trials may be performed on the residential population of Vault 81. Oh, do they know about that? <laughs> Scientific staff will be restricted to the hermetically sealed research area. This measure reduces the chance of cross-contamination between residential and scientific staff populations. The Overseer will have communication capabilities, but no other members of the residential population are to be made aware of the Prime Directive. Hmm, interesting. Admission Protocol. As outlined in the vault -Tec Operations Handbook, all staff members of Vault 81 will be required to participate in mandatory drills, held on-site at the discretion of the Overseer and vault -Tec Administration. Admission drills are a requirement on all beta alert days as indicated by the vault -Tec early warning system. In the event of an actual alpha alert, Vault 81 residents will be admitted into the vault by overseer staff. All scientific staff should report to their workstations immediately, avoiding contact with general population, especially those whom they may know personally. If necessary, overseers should remind staff of their confidentiality status. All residents should be admitted in an orderly fashion and given the approved welcome address in the common area atrium by the overseer. The overseer should then use this terminal to confer privately with the head of science staff by now safely sealed in the research area. Evacuation Protocol Vault 81 is not to be evacuated under any circumstances except a direct all-clear command from Vault Tech uh, Central HQ. Research reports should be archived on the primary mainframe. Chemical compounds and other physical materials may be deposited in the marked receptacle only by the Overseer, and only after a successful Stage 3 trial phase. In the event of a vault ordered evacuation, Overseer must be prepared to dispose of residential population by incineration, repellent nozzles are pre-installed in all residential living quarters to avoid contamination with outside population. This disposal is at the discretion of the Overseer unless specifically mandated as part of the vault evacuation order. Wow. These people are fucked up. Okay, Overseer's private logs. Oh my god. A job's a job. I can't believe it. vault must have really been desperate for an overseer candidate after Duncan fell ill. I'm certainly qualified for this job, but with my politics, how could they think I'm a good candidate for this kind of program? Maybe there's more to this than I'm seeing. 
They still haven't given me a full briefing on the work we'll be doing here, but I'm not stupid. I'm pretty sure it's going to involve human trials. I won't jump to any conclusions, though. Let's see how this plays out. If they're crossing any ethical lines with me, they'll be in a congressional hearing before they know it's hit them. That's not going to work out for you. Drills, drills, drills. These researchers are willing to put up with a lot. Today is our fifth drill of the week, and this time I had to make the calls in the middle of the night. Half of these scientists are just kids. Between cramming for finals and sleeping all Friday hangovers, I'm shocked as many of them staggered in as did. I guess the pay is worth it. I know I wasn't earning that kind of money as a grad student. What to do? It's much worse than I thought. I was finally given my full briefing today. Not only is vault Tech asking us to do clinical trials on humans, they've got some serious backers in government. I can't just blow the whistle on this. I've seen the admission roster. There are good people planning to live in Vault 81, and I've little doubt the vaults will come into use eventually. I won't reward the trust of these people by treating them like guinea pigs. I feel trapped. I don't know what to do. So this overseer at least had a conscience. They didn't really know what they were getting into. The day. It's done. I got the call early this morning. Another beta drill. It's always Rosario who has to call. Her voice was trembling, and she couldn't get off the phone soon enough. She knew. Sure enough, the warning was upgraded within a few hours, and the news was reporting confirmed launches soon after that. I made a decision. I deliberately sabotaged the phone list. Such a simple thing, but it meant that none of the science staff could receive... Uh, n none of the science staff... Oh my god. None of the science staff received a notification about the drill. The residents are beginning to show up, and we'll have our hands busy admitting everyone. So what exactly did that do? Science staff. I'm no criminal mastermind. Clearing the phone list prevented most of the science staff from showing up, but three still made it in. Oh, so she was trying to prevent them from getting there to run the, the tests, I guess. Uh, Flint and Collins are both my age and live in the Fens. They had time to get here with the general population. Burrow is just an overachiever and came by in the morning just to see if there would be a drill today. Figures. They have reported to the research area. The vault protocol is engaged automatically and sealed them in. They're already busy with their work, especially since there are only three of them. They suspect. Burrow and Flint are getting restless in there. Collins and that robot, he's calling her Curie now, are keeping the mood relatively steady, but I think they already suspect that I have no intention of allowing them to implement a Stage 3 trial. Not sure what to do. They've got access to the del to the delivery nozzles. If they choose to, they'll be able to infect the population with whatever they want. Need to keep them calm. Shit. Forgiveness. I've made a grim choice. I sabotaged the delivery nozzles in all the resident quarters as soon as I was able. I didn't expect Burrow to notice so soon. Hell, I didn't expect Collins to get so close to a Phase 3 trial so quickly. I didn't expect half of what's happened in the past few months. Cutting off communication is a cowardly thing to do, but what options do I have? They'll have food and water in there as long as they need. I just can't let them go through with human trials for God knows what vault Tech plans to do with their research. I only hope that somehow they can forgive me and live out their lives, live out their years in peace over there. So, she kind of saved everybody in this vault. And the reason people are able to live here now is because of what she did. That's pretty awesome. Research comm records. Oh my god, there's so much in this terminal. Uh, let's see, testing, one, two, three... Dr. Olivet, do you copy? I do, Kenneth. Everything good over there? Just another drill day. Right, Overseer? It is, and thank God for that. Where is everyone? Overseer, there are just three of us over here. What's going on? Olivet, are you getting this? Sorry, Kevin. It's been a madhouse on this side. Only three? Myself, Jim Flint, and that kid, Burrow. Where is everyone else? Not over here. Residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. That's the same way I heard. You think vault Tech would have had enough warning to call at least a beta drill for staff this morning. Something must have gone wrong. Very, very wrong. Phase 1 trial. We've been pretty limited down here, but we've been focused on antibiotics and have our first uh, Petri trials underway. I saw the data last night. It's promising, but do you think it's ready? The trial's just started, and the virus we're going after has a few days of inoculation. But I'm optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. Okay, keep me posted and don't begin Phase 3 trials until I have an opportunity to go through the new data. Of course. Have a good afternoon, Overseer. Overseer, do you have a minute? The system isn't instantaneous, bro. I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Sorry, Overseer. I wanted to notify you about an issue with our food extruder. Okay, I see it now. Looks like a clog in the protein tank. You weren't able to address it on your end? No, Overseer. Hardware failures on the residential side must be addressed over there. We can't get to the tanks or nozzles to repair them. Okay, bro. I'll have a maintenance down there immediately. Go stand by and have Collins contact me if there are still issues in about 10 minutes, okay? Thank you, Overseer. I'll go there now. Phase 2 trial. Good news, Dr. Olivet. We've tweaked our formula based on Phase 1 trial results, and I think we're ready to go with Phase 2. How's the mole rat population doing? Very well. The specimens vault provided are remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Is that in the protocols? 
not technically, but we noticed some weird stuff with the kibble provided for them. Burrow got pretty sick for a day or two. Don't ask. <laughs> Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic. Tamper with? Something like that. I think vault must have been running some experiments with them. They're all unusually large. A few demonstrate bioluminescence. At least one appears more intelligent than normal. Do you think they're still a useful control? We've divided the colonies, separated the most, usual, the most unusual specimens, and put the control colony on a new diet taken from our own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Very well. Give me the evening to go over your data again, but I think you're clear to begin phase two unless I find anything I don't expect. And delivery mech failure. Overseer? Yes, Burrow, what is it? I've noticed an issue with our delivery mechanisms. Do you know if anyone is tampering with the nozzles in the residential quarters on your side? I don't know. What are you doing with the delivery system anyway? The phase two trial just began. I know, Overseer. I just thought it would be a good idea to run tests on the delivery system before we reach phase three. If we reach phase three, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of tests were you hoping to run anyway? Just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles are dispensing mist properly. The residents wouldn't even know we had done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end, Burrow. In the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval. I wonder if he did. Anything useful on that terminal? No, they talked about the shit that we're going for, but they didn't actually talk about a cure. I can't believe this counts as stealing. This is so stupid. Taking all that shit. How do you feel about that? All right, so give me a laser rifle and my power armor, and I'll take on the world. Dance. It's not what we're talking about right now. Just chill, bro. Look at this reactor. This is interesting. What? Whoa! Whoa! Where did you come from? Hey, old Rusty. Please direct any maintenance requests to Mr. Deluca. They will be handled in the order they were received. Uh, this vault is a mess. So you're programmed for vault maintenance? An astute observation. I assist Mr. Deluca with reactor maintenance, tending to the heart of the vault. He prefers to supervise while giving me the privilege of fulfilling the tasks. The privilege, huh? Does he help out with any other work? If memory serves, the last bit of work he performed was when Mr. Whittaker forced him to clean up the supply room. He was also quite vocal about his distaste for the job. Yeah, that sounds about right. Old Rusty. Excuse my extremities. Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I had to say that. I was wondering if there would be a fusion core down here that I could jack from these people. Probably screw them over big time, but it would also be kind of hilarious. Who am I stealing these caps from? Nobody lives down here. BS. LOL. <laughs> Somebody really set up these blocks. To say BS and LOL. That's hilarious. Internet lingo survives in the post apocalypse. Alright, let's get in this door, see what we can find. Secret Vault 81. Ooh. Wonder what could be in here. Probably poisonous. Giant mutant mole rats, right? Let's go ahead and uh, get some heavy weaponry ready. Okay, this place is pretty fucked up. Okay, mostly just junk so far. We're in caution. Oh shit, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Jesus. Fucking mole rat came out of nowhere. 
Identified intruder detected. Beginning search. Protectron Watcher is on the job. Oh, I hate to do it, but I think we're going to have to blow that guy away. Hmm, I think he's right on the other side of this wall. This is pretty interesting, guys. This is probably the most interesting thing that's happened in this whole vault. <laughs> I'm glad we came here. By the way, this is getting so I'm long at this point. The residents of this vault didn't even know this section existed. Yeah, I think you're right, Dance. Uh, this is getting so long at this point. I think I'm probably gonna have, like I have to break this up into two videos. Actually, it wasn't my original plan, but two hour-long videos sounds uh, like a good celebratory thing. 100 and 101. Stop blinking like that. Just give me the damn shit. Another terminal. I'm tired of reading, but we gotta see what's on here. Let's see. Breeding program update. Mole rat breeders. We finally got the breeding program stabilized. As earlier reports indicated, the mole rats show unusual degrees of aggression in captivity. This may be due to the growth hormones. Recent generations seem more docile, although some of the keepers are complaining that the lab animals are watching them, which is preposterous. <laughs> preposterous, I tell you. Serum production. We have created 197 distinct serums that can treat 36% of known viruses. This is a modest improvement from last year's 33% treatment rate. However, 11 of the serums account for 61% of the treatment results, which is encouraging. At this time, only 19% of serums have the potential to be mass-produced. We have tasked our latest robot lab assistant to find ways to synthesize more of them efficiently. That's it on there? Okay. I am ready for whatever may be down here. Machine gun turrets. Probably should have used my silence weapon for that, I just realized. <laughs> oh well. Got it. Let's open it up. Although, I seem to have That's forgotten about us already. wonder if I could possibly get in a snipe here. Oh! I thought I blew this thing up! Violence will not be tolerated. Violence will be tolerated. Oh, look at the reload speed on that. That's nice. Slow and stupid loses the race. Damn, what level is this dude? 14. Okay. I do like the feel of this sniper. The recoil is not too bad, and I don't have to leave my sights to re-rack around. I might have a keeper here. Plus that sight looks really cool. <laughs> Means I'm gonna have to start getting uh, 50 cal ammo. I think I sold a shitload of that before because I didn't really need it. Ooh, technical dock. Nice. Okay. How deep does this place go? It's like a whole other vault to explore. Which is nuts. Ooh. Nice. That was the easiest novice lock of all time. Shit. What is it? Oh, what these things? So the scope that I put on this thing is supposed to be like some kind of tracking scope. I don't really see how that works yet. 
It's the recon scope that says that it actually tracks targets, but I don't really see it. <laughs> I don't know how it's supposed to work. Another damn terminal. Jeez. One of these better unlock that damn elevator. Maybe it's an elevator that takes me back up there. I don't know. Uh, okay, I should pay attention to this. Back had one likeness. Hazy. That is two. Second letter is an A. Pav. I'm in. Protect drone control. All right. Uh, law enforcement. Activate. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Oh, he's a legendary guardian. Level 26. Oh man, that means if I blew him up, he would have something good for me. Sorry, Protectron. You got to go. No mercy! Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna explode in a furious wave of deathly fire like that. Crippling 44 pistol. 50% more limb damage. Hmm. Does that. S okay, 57 damage. I'm not sure how that compares to my Kellogg's pistol. We'll have to compare them then. I am getting mad rats. What is if we what is going on? The people's hearts and minds, we have to spread the word of brotherhood across the Commonwealth. Why is it so hot here all of a sudden? Is it because this dude exploded? Let's just move on. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cure myself. Because that was a pretty decent amount of rats we took there. You moldy food. Potato Chris. Mmm. I'm starting to get hungry myself. I've been playing this game for a while now, guys. Actually, my ass is starting to hurt too. <laughs> From sitting in this computer chair for so long. I know y'all needed to know that. Hey, it's a dead one. <laughs> Damn, dude, they sprung a trap on us. That was nuts. Maybe these things are smarter than we give them credit for. They coordinated that attack so beautifully. Didn't work, though. Hmm, here's some decent supplies. Exactly the reason that science never belonged in the private sector. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Whoa. Are we listening in on their conversation? Hydroponics observation station. The crop rotation implemented by the hydroponics manager has proven successful for supplying the vault with adequate food. We have not had to intervene, which has eliminated the risk that the vault inhabitants would discover the secret part of the vault. So far, they do not appear to suspect the true nature of their vault. The greenhouse will be a perfect place to introduce Class C4 and D1 viruses into the population, as well as potential cures should a disease get too viral. 
I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling. Oh, that's when they formulated the plan. What a bunch of dicks. Where did that audio come from, though? Oh, the speaker right here. So they... The original vault dwellers in this place would listen in on stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, we're getting pretty deep in here at this point. We gotta find something soon. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. Oh, real nice, Holt. Make this about you. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Boston, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Holt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. I'm surprised this stuff still works, honestly. It's so old and decrepit, and it's still just, like, listening into everything. How did they not, like, figure this out by now? Let's see. The vault inhabitants have unexpectedly repurposed this room to be a kind of store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation port to record interactions between many of the vault citizens. This shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne Class B2 viruses. It will also be valuable for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location along with the commissary. The primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that severely ill patients will all be taken there. Jeez. So they had like every room wired up and were like observed, like they knew about like their hardships and everything and they just observed it all and recorded it without like actually trying to help them. For fuck's sake. I think that came from downstairs. What? Sounding all clear. These motherfuckers. I don't think I never see them coming. More that. All right, enough with the mole rats. <laughs> These are giving me lots of meat. Are you fucking kidding me? The crazy thing is these things actually kind of hurt just a little bit. Like they're, they're not weak. Sugar bombs. Salisbury steak. Oh god, I'm getting so hungry. You and your staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsythe. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. Yeah, I'm working on it. But first I gotta read everything. Overseer observation. Although the chief scientist argued against an observation port in the overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We are able to observe the, pol the political shifts in governance since the vault door was locked. When we do introduce viruses to the population, we will be able to monitor the leadership's reactions and courses of action. What a bunch of assholes! They're going to purposely introduce viruses. That's so rude. Okay, down here is going to be a mole rat apocalypse, right? I'm ready for you, bastards. Come on, come at me. Ooh, cryo mines. Check that out. Oh, and shotgun shells. Nice. These noxious fumes are quite revolting. You don't often find that stuff just laying around. Right, sliding door. Let's 
All right, dance. Let's go. Hmm. We made it to the actual living quarters. This whole excursion is turning out way, like, to be way longer and bigger than I thought it would be. I might not even be able to wrap this up in two hours. You know, regardless of, like, all the other weapons I find in this game, I still just love this plasma rifle so much. It's like the perfect weapon to me. It just feels good when you shoot it. I love the sight. I love the damage. Oh, so good. It's pretty interesting, though, getting in here and seeing, like the secret behind the secret. Like, the vaults themselves were already kind of secret. And this is, like, even one level beyond that. Fuck this master lock. Come on. Oh, you're killing me. There we go. Sweet. Silver pocket watch, suppress, blah blah blah. That was not great for a master safe. Oh, you can hear noises coming from behind this place. Oh, it's the spark. Some kind of electrical thing going on there. Hold on, I feel like I breeze through this pretty quickly. Is there? I guess there's not a lot of doors we can actually go into. We went in there. Yeah, there's there's really only the two side areas. Okay, I thought I, for some reason I thought there was gonna be more than that, being the living quarters, but there's not. Okay, on the upper level, sliding door requires terminal. It's probably gonna be this dude right here, and it's expert lock. Shit, I am so glad that I bought that skill when I did, because if I got all the way down here and couldn't hack that terminal to unlock the door, I would probably lose my mind. I really think that would happen. I think I would go crazy. Mole rat brood mother. Yo, I killed your moms! What do you think of that? Stranger! Yeah! Thanks, homie! Nice pickup. Jesus. So one thing I've noticed about the Stranger is he doesn't really show up if you don't need help. That might have been part of the problem when I was first trying to get him to show up. He only shows up if you are not finishing the kill while you're in VATS. Even if you have, like, the AP to do it, it seems like you have to purposely not go for the kill shot. And then he'll show up and, uh, you know, help you out. But if you, if you do it enough times to actually kill something, I don't think I've ever seen him show up during that. Alright, looks like we might have finally made it to the objective here. Nice. Good stuff. We are getting some pretty decent supplies from this area, though, so I can't complain about that. Lots of junk, too. Oh, Vault 81 Tech Password. Research Com Terminal. Uh... Oh, this is the same thing we read before. Okay, yep, we've read all that. No reason to read it again. Let's listen to the tape we just picked up. Apparently it has a password on it. Uh, 
of shit. Here it is. Oh, it's not a tape to listen to, it's just... Okay, we just have it. That's fine. So now I guess we take this back to that door. I guess I wouldn't have needed the hack skill. Actually, that kind of sucks. Now I won't get the XP for hacking it. <laughs> no matter, though. Okay. Have we made it to the end? Whoa. Curie, level 42. Does not appear to be hostile. At least not yet. These fucking robots can change their minds at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Elevator. Oh. oh. Oh, I wonder if this will take us back up in there. Maybe that's been the purpose all along. Sliding door inaccessible. Useless. Bullshit. Busted. Oi. Hey, there's obviously something in there. Come on. Jammed. Okay, what's the what's the story here? <laughs> Can I talk to her? I'm assuming it's a her. Vault Tech lab coat. Oh, sure. Let's take a bunch of these, why not? Oh god. <laughs> we'll take the bones of this dude who used to work here, I guess. Why not? Take all this crap. Alright. So we've got some kind of puzzle to solve here. Obviously, we have to be able to communicate with this robot somehow. We have to be able to get in there. It's stuck. Broken. Looks like there's another... There's a door back there. I don't know if that area is accessible. I can't talk to her from here. What the fuck? Did I miss a door? No. That leads all the way back down there. I can't imagine that would wrap around like that. Wonder what ha Maybe if I just go... No, the objective is... Oh! Now I can talk! Oh! Another stranger. Are you Vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. She's French. Yes, yes I am. Do I want to start by lying to her? I don't know. Who the heck are you? I am a Contagion's Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, or CVR, i.e. The human scientists call me Curie. Or more properly, they call me this when they were alive. I repeat, are you vault Security? Uh... Just open the door for me. I, I, I don't want to, like, lie, but I don't want to be mean, either. Fuck it. Yes. Y yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. I would love to. I am so authorized, you are released. Heck no, vault Tech is gone. Let's try being real with her. vault Tech is gone. No need to follow their rules anymore. Gone? Truly? My programming doesn't cover this contingency. Please tell me the authority to release me was transferred to you. I mean, we're gonna say yes, but I also want to learn more. Why can't you just leave? I require verbal or written authorization. Actually, any vault -Tec employee, even you, could authorize me. You must be vault -Tec, or you couldn't possibly be here. 
<laughs> sure. Uh, I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. All right. Since you are a Volt Tech representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only- Right. What? Oh, okay. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. Oh, man. Oh, okay, sorry I interrupted that dialogue. I didn't mean to. You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more. But they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. Oh, uh, okay. Guess you can go then. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel, even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Alright, cool. Kiri, I like you, Kiri. She's got a really unique personality for one of these robots. A routine analysis of you indicates you have suffered very little from radiation. Curious. Oh, I've suffered from radiation, trust me. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the reason I accidentally interrupted that dialogue is because I noticed this, and I was trying to zoom in on it. Bobblehead, guys! Bobblehead! Medicine bobblehead. Hell yeah. Stim packs permanently heal 10% more damage. Fuck yes, that's awesome! Although, that'll become useless once I get that perk up to 100%, won't it? <laughs> oh, whatever. It'll help for now, I guess. If you keep hoarding that garbage, you're going to slow us down. I'm gonna slow your mom down. I don't even know what that means, but I'll do it. Alright, let's check out this terminal. Vault 81 mission statement. Uh, to Chief Scientists, we are entrusting you with a mission that is critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out diseases we know it in the human race. Your partition of the vault has been equipped with state-of-the-art medical research equipment, including the new Contagions Vulnerability Robotic Infirmary Engineer, aka Curie. There is a century's worth of biological and chemical supplies. There are the genetically adapted mole rats, and most important, a vault full of test subjects. As with all great progress, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. You will be infecting the people of the vault with diseases and attempt to have them develop antibodies. Some may not survive, but you must ensure that a breeding population is always maintained. It will take many generations, but with proper procedures, you should be able to develop a disease-resistant group of humans. Your work will be the work of generations. Each generation of scientists must select a chief scientist. Curry will make sure that each reads this mission statement to keep the vault focused over the centuries. We wish you the best of luck. So, they thought that they were doing a good thing, and one could argue that objectively, maybe they were. But like a lot of people in power who try to do good, they did it by really wrong methods, using people as test subjects without their knowledge or consent. I mean, that's just fucked up. You don't do that. Come on. And Curie's terminal. Okay, thank you, Dr. Collins. Uh, research. Date of last data purge, XXXXX, memory failure. Uh, this terminal not recommended for research backups. Please use hard copies. Personal. Entries are the personal work and property of Curie. Do not read. Yes, this means even you, Dr. Collins. Oh, uh, we're, we're gonna do it. <laughs> Initializing greetings, laboratory. I have been ordered by Dr. Collins to add an entry to this terminal. Dr. Collins was most insistent that this is my terminal. I explained several times that robots cannot own property as per Robco policy, but his orders were most clear and insistent. I will comply with Dr. Collins' wishes and maintain a log when ordered to. Whoops. Colleagues, I have completed my analysis and integration of the data to make me a capable research assistant. I have been commanded to provide an assessment of my colleagues. Dr. Flint is objectively brilliant, although Dr. Collins repeatedly calls him brusque, but I find Dr. Flint's commands and speech patterns easier to parse. His observations are always very astute and I am learning much about working with cell cultures from him. Monsieur Burrow is perfectly acceptable to work with. He performs menial tasks which my programming is perfectly suited for, such as carrying heavy lab equipment. This is strange because my capabilities for such a task are far beyond those of a human male. 
I am told by Dr. Collins that this is a sign of respect that Monsieur Burrow is making. This does not compute. I don't know how to pronounce French words, guys, so you're going to have to give me, you know, some slack on that. <laughs> Error in cash. Integer. It's all fucked up. Distress. Unusually agitated state. He would not leave his quarters after his morning meal. Dr. Collins assures me the state is temporary and that Monsieur Burrow is merely overwhelmed with the Schurberger. Another error. Eulogy. Dr. Burrow is deceased. Postmortem indicates he expired from a severe cardiac arrest brought on by advanced age. He died at 5.01 a.m. shortly after waking. In accordance with the doctor's pre-existing orders, the body was cremated and placed in the specified urn alongside Drs. Collins and Flint. Dr. Burrow was of great assistance in continuing the work left to us by the others. The last order was to continue working on our projects alone so that our deaths will not be in vain. Our processes are fully committed to furthering the study of pathogens and viruses for the betterment of mankind. To honor this last request, message ends. And Collins Archive. Boot up. We're hamstrung with only three researchers. Decided to make a few modifications to this Mr. Handy robot. Should be really useful for speeding up some of our lab work. I've been pretty anxious since admittance day. As if the world ending wasn't enough, I'm very concerned about all of its motives. Dusting off some of my old robotics shops has been just the distraction I've needed. All of that's like the one on your side, bro. I decided to write a suite of custom personality settings for the robot. She's a little bit of Liza. I really hope she got into her vault down in DC. And a little bit my grad school fling from Versailles back in 46. I'm loading her databanks with every great body of work I have access to here. Kant, Einstein, Born, Darwin, Curie, Faraday, Turing, Braun. She'll have so much to learn. It's already made her feel so much more like a peer in the lab as opposed to an appliance. I'm calling her Curie. I know, I know. I was never a subtle man. <laughs> All right, so this dude actually created her, for the most part. Carrie's been doing great. Flint's finally stopped treating me like a crazy person for assisting me to dress her as a human, and I swear Burrow is, uh, is deferential to her in a way that reminds me of seeing him around Rebecca back during the drills. It's actually endearing to see. Most importantly, and perhaps more surprisingly, she's bringing a sense of normalcy to the lab, keeping us all a bit more grounded. Anything to keep our minds off the situation we're in is all too welcome. I've tuned her personality matrix a lot, but it's beginning to feel wrong to manipulate her. I'm going to leave her programming alone for now and just see how she evolves as she keeps learning more. Whoops. Ongoing directive. Haven't touched this terminal in years, not since I gave it to Kiri as her own. Seeing her reaction to having something of her own was transformational. It just seemed wrong to violate that, and so it's truly been for her eyes only ever since. This final entry is an exception, and I suppose it's being written out of habit, as a man used to a lifetime of recording his experiments. We lost Flint today, and Burrow has to spend more time helping me around the lab than actually performing research these days. So if only to report my findings, Curie has been a remarkable success. She transcended my expectations of robotic programming. Her personality feels as genuine as my own. Her interest in scientific research is, insati is insatiable, and seeing her struggle with concepts like morality or mortality has been completely moving. Truly, she is my greatest work. I only hope that one day she can see more of the world. If only I could be there to witness her reaction to the blue skies and butterflies she's only heard me sing about. Damn. This is some pretty serious stuff down here. <laughs> I'm glad we got to read about her, though. Kiri seems like a really cool character. One of those, like, rare, like, really well-written and possibly developed characters in this game. There's not a ton of them, but the ones that are there are really good. Anyways, I think we have everything we came down here for now. We got a bobblehead! I'm so excited about that! And we got the cure. Kiri is gonna come with us, I think. Let's see if this elevator pops us out where I hope it will right in the middle of the actual vault. Please don't crash. Oh, I can't quick save in here. Fuck. Oh, last time it crashed in an elevator. Please, please, please. Dances give me this look like, man, why'd you bring her? This is weird. <laughs> okay, we made it. Uh, where the hell are we, though? Elevator door. Okay, it brought us to another elevator. <laughs> Interesting. What is it? Oh shit. Oh, okay, this yeah. This we is where I thought we safe. would be. Awesome. Okay, that answers that question. <laughs> Now let's bring Curie and the serum the back to Austin. I guess we should do that like ASAP, right? Remember, 
No funny business. Or else he's gonna die or turn into a mole rat or whatever. I don't know. We should probably try to prevent that from happening. Thank you for the bobblehead, Curie. I really, really appreciate that. It's a pretty good one, too. Okay, where are we going? Downstairs. Back Dr. yonder. Dr. and Rachel have plenty of medical supplies to get you stocked up. Still no one in the classroom. <laughs> the cure. You found it. Yeah, dog. Let him die, I'm keeping it. Are you fucking kidding me? Give him half and I'll take the other half. Oh my god, that's... Wow. This is actually some really serious dialogue here. Uh... How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. I mean, am I in danger? I did get bit by mole rats, but I don't think I'm sick or anything. Eh, whatever. We'll figure it out. Here, take the cure. And use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. You really suck with that needle. It shouldn't be long. You're always missing. You're Thank in God. the clinic. You were really sick, Austin. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? Gee, thanks, mister. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for our friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the syringe. What? I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. God damn it. The whole vault is thankful. <laughs> I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. A place you can call your own. Oh. It's in the main hall. On the left as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I, go I hope you enjoy out. your accommodation. I wanted to say thank you again thank you. for what you did for Austin. You've opened a lot of eyes around here, including my own. I had no idea of the dangers vault Tech had hidden away so close to home. I can't believe so many died just behind our walls. Oh, she's owning up to it. Okay. What do you know about vault Tech? What do you know about vault Tech? I'm afraid not much. I've spent my entire life being thankful for the vault, for the walls that protected us over two centuries. But not once have I had contact with them. Hmm... If vault -Tec had lived to go through with their plan, this place would be wiped out. I don't doubt that one bit. I hate to think of what they had planned for us. But on the good side, you made a real impression on our anti-commonwealth people. They're realizing outsiders really can be trusted, and do more good than just providing resources. You'll always be welcome here, and I hope you make a habit of visiting. Having a trusted outsider would help serve as a reminder that the commonwealth isn't something to fear and avoid. Cool. Sounds like I've done good. If you need fixing up, let's get a look at you. I'm good. Man, that's pretty cool. So we have a room here. What? So many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth. Consult with scientists. Honors more data to challenge my hypothesis. That's awesome! She can be my companion! What are you looking to learn up there? It sounds like the Vulcan really use you. Your job is to stay here. Nah, fuck all that. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system. And without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses, or bacteria, it is quite... dull, medically speaking. The world up there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? I don't know. After the bombs, the Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there. And if nothing else, there is data. I can see you already have company. I do not wish to intrude. 
But I must ask. Please, monsieur, can you take me with you? There's no picnic up there. Anything you can do to help us survive? Maybe later. Not right now. Come along then. Huh. It's no picnic up there. Anything you can do to help us survive? But of course. I have been equipped with medical equipment. If you become injured in our journeys, I can administer steam packs. I also have defensive capabilities, a laser. But surely there's little reason to use that. <laughs> sure. That's cool. So you can give me stim packs like any time? Because that sounds kind of OP. Come along then. Excellent. We must embark at once. Okay. Well, I'm not done with Dance. I just wanted to secure her as a companion. Uh, we'll send Dance to Sanctuary. And, uh, we'll go get him again when we're done here. Because I'm going to use him until I get his perk. We're probably pretty close. And I don't know what her perk is. I don't know if it's something I'll want, so... Like with the other companions, I will almost certainly just look that up and verify it for myself. You got guts wearing that pit boy in the Commonwealth. All right. I can't believe someone hasn't tried to steal it yet. Uh, you know, I quite like her as a character. I just don't know if her perk's going to be worth spending all the time with her. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the Atrium. Okay, so we've got... Two things we need to do here. There's never anybody in the fucking classroom, which is the the main thing I want to do. But I also got to go sell my fertilizer to that hydroponics lady. I got to remember where the damn <laughs> uh, hydroponics lab is. And even though I live here now, I still can't take all this stuff. So that pisses me off. Huh? Hey, I, uh, I heard what you did for Austin. You saved that kid's life, so I, I was hoping you could help me out with Bobby. I need someone to get him off the jet. Ever since all that drama, he's gotten worse. Doesn't leave his room high all the time. Rachel said if he doesn't get help, he could die. What do you want me to do? Steal all his drugs? Any idea how I can do that? You've got to convince him to go see Rachel. She's got some treatment drug that'll help him get clean. It's either get clean or get dead at this point, and that bastard better get his priorities straight. Uh, Alright. I guess I can do something. On me. I don't even know where that dude is. I'm still trying to find the hydroponics lab. <laughs> Just the person I wanted to see. I wanted to thank you for what you did for Austin. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all good. Whatever. It was the right thing to do. You'll hear no arguments from me. It was a selfless act, something we don't see much of from the Commonwealth. You're a rare breed, the kind we could use more of both inside and out of Vault 81. Anyway, I'm sure you have plenty of things to get back to. I just had to say thank you for saving Austin. I may have my life's work, but that boy is what really keeps me going. Cool, buy my fertilizer. Dr. Penske. I'm so thankful to have Austin alive and well again. It's disturbing to think about what was going on just behind our walls. God damn it. I'll be keeping a much closer eye on Austin after all of this. Well, I don't know why she doesn't want to buy it. Pardon me, Dr. Penske. That Bobby DeLuca better clean up his act. If it Fine, him, fuck you. Time, we'll go talk to Bobby. Bobby. Jesus. You should stop, you should by, stop by and see Horatio. 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 Can't imagine you come you across many barbers in the Commonwealth. Hey, Bobby. Hey, the outsider. I'm just in charge of the generators here. Not sure what I can help you with. Dude's just sitting back here chugging jet. <laughs> okay, we're probably gonna have to tread lightly here. I'm here about your habit. My habit? No habits here, man. You're doing it right in front of me, jackass. You need to get help, Bobby. Go see Rachel. She has medicine that'll help you. She, she, she can? I never realized there were drugs to treat drugs if it's that easy i'll do it i'll go see her right now okay that was easy <laughs> and i think just to make sure i'm gonna take your stash too i wonder if the laws of property are different at this time yeah i should have known carrie wouldn't like that whatever i did i did it for a good cause all right i'm trying to help this guy out he can't do drugs if he doesn't have nice drugs. If it ever right? Acting up on you, see Alexis. She'll fix it right up. Alright. Gotta go find Tina. 
Still can't believe they found an entire new section of the vault. I'm only found it. Uh, shit. Where the hell am I going? Did you did you talk to Bobby? How'd it go? Good. Good. He went to see Rachel. He's cleaning up. No shit. You actually did it? That's it. No more drugs, no more dealing. We're starting over. Maybe now I can get him to leave this can. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me on a settlement. Oh. That makes sense. She wants to get out of here. I don't know why it's such a hard check, but here we go. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me on a settlement. Maybe someday, but I have a feeling Bobby's gonna- Nope. We're gonna try that again. If you really want out of here, you can come work for me on a settlement. You know? Yeah! As, as new beginnings go, that sounds pretty good. Count me in. Damn right. Oh, right. Like that made any sense. What? <laughs> Hi, Tina. Hopefully, you can get through to him. What was what was that? She's like, like that made any sense. I don't even know what she was talking about. Whatever. I don't even know where she's going, but... She still has an objective marker. What is this? Talk to Tina. Okay. Tina. All he needs to do is go see Rachel and it's over. Is this glitched out now? I never should have gotten him started on Chet. Whatever. Eat shit, Tina. Let's go talk to the kids and I think we'll finally be done here. Hey, they're here now. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? Yes. Yes, I would. Uh... I'd be glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children! Children, listen up! We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a death claw? Sure did. Nothing more than a pistol and three bullets. <laughs> I did. With nothing more than a pistol and three bullets. Really? Wouldn't you rather hear about when I fought mole rats? Uh, Raiders around the museum. Why are these all about Preston? Who gives a shit about Preston? <laughs> okay. Raiders surrounded the museum where my friend Preston was holed up. I had to kill them all with my bare hands. Just your bare hands? Whoa. Really? The story isn't too scary, is it? Nah, screw that. Preston was so scared I had to finish off the rest of the Raiders myself with just a pool cue. <laughs> Preston was so scared I had to finish off the rest of the Raiders myself with just a pool cue. No way. Just a pool cue? This is awesome. <laughs> when the Death Claw crawled out, Preston was ready with his laser musket. I grabbed one of the Raiders' pistols, but only had three bullets. Yeah. When the Death Claw crawled out, I grabbed one of the Raiders' pistols, but it only had three bullets. I would have run away. Why is that happening? One shot in each eye and one in the forehead took care of that Death Claw. Wow. You must be a good shot. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. Thank, thank you. you. And we have a thank you gift for you. Here. Oh. And it's another Grognak comic. Unarmed attacks. Thanks. Thanks so much. I swear to God, I have 80,000 Grognak comics and like, I don't know, hardly any of like the other good ones that I found. So that's pissing me off. Okay, guys, well, this has been a monster session. I'm definitely breaking this up into two videos. It wasn't the original plan, but, uh... Hi, how are you? Yeah, it's kind of necessary for editing and rendering and YouTube purposes and getting it out in a timely manner. So this has been the 100 and 101 episode special. Back again. It's been really cool. We got a lot of cool stuff from this vault. I had a great time exploring this and I uh, hope you guys did too. So I think we're done here. When we come back, we will finally get back to the railroad stuff that we were doing originally, Butcher's Bill 2, and uh, I think we're, we've made some decent progress on that stuff, too. So hopefully we can wrap that up soon and then get to, like, the Brotherhood stuff. Because that's going to be the real good stuff, I think. So that's the plan for now. 
Thanks as always for all the support guys, 101 episodes going strong, longest LP ever, for me anyway, and uh, yeah, thanks again, much love. See you in the next part.